What's going on everyone, it's Rick here once again and I am wanting to show you in this video what my points per day for the Gigabyte GTX 550 Ti video card are. As you can see here I've been running um, GPU 3 on the GTX 550 for a little while now, maybe 15-20 minutes. And uh, you can see here on the right we have the uh, GPU meter and this is a gadget you can get with Windows 7, nothing fancy. But you can see on the right shows we're running at 60 Celsius and this is with the fan maxed out. And we are running the default clocks of the Gigabyte version which is 970 on the core, 1940 on the shader, and 2100 on the memory. So I can actually zoom in there a little bit for you guys. To show you that. And if you look up here, points per day are 9579.9 and this will vary slightly as the work unit's only 13% done and uh, depending on what version you have uh, it might be a little lower, a little higher and just for you wondering uh, when you overclock your video card you're always wanting to do the shader however high you can get the shader that's always going to be the best core uh, a few percent you know gain that you'll get from that but the most will come from the shader memory doesn't do anything at all so if anything, um, depending on what kind of video card you have, uh, if you want to lower your memory clock down and lower your core clock to see if you can get a higher shader clock, that's going to be your best scenario. But on some, uh, the core and shader are locked, so you're going to have to get your core as high as you can to get the shader as high as you can. But you can downclock the memory not only to save a little bit on heat, but it might actually help on stability of the core and shader as well. So that about finishes this video up and actually see now we're at 9620 and when I started this it said 9500 flat. So I guess I'll, I might have to do an update on this just to show you guys after a few work units because this is project uh, 6803 and this is a 1325 point work unit. And like I said um, I'm using Folding at Home GPU Tracker version 2 and like I said it's only 14% done now so it's not completely accurate but if anybody is wondering I will uh, make an update on this after I've done a few different work units and I'll let you guys know what my average points per day are on the extreme overclocking website uh, you guys can see all the stats for all the people who are folding as well as the teams and I can put a link below that uh, this video so you guys can check that out so that about wraps it up guys I uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions oh and I'm running a uh, uh, 280.26 on the driver version which I've heard isn't the best but um, it's working so like I said we'll see and make sure that it actually will send this working it in and I won't have any problems so um, alright guys uh, you guys all take it easy and have a great day and lots more videos to come